Om Shanti, welcome to all of you. Welcome to your own channel. See the soul the truth lies within. And today we're going to talk about the 19th day of Akali blessing, where Supreme Father wants us to be full of happiness and peace by realizing what is our relationship with Him, by realizing the knowledge which He has given us, and be totally, be totally not harmed by any sorrowful situation, any sorrowful person. How do we do that? What is the method of doing that? We are going to touch a few points over here. So let's go ahead with the heading of the blessing. Baba says, May you be full of happiness and peace and forget the world of sorrow through having God's love. The world of sorrow can be financial sorrow, physical ailments, relationship problems and many more things. So by having God's love, in details, God says, God's love gives you so much happiness that if you become lost in it, you will forget this world of sorrow. But for that, one needs to know who that person is whom I am going to be in love with. Or if you are in love with somebody, you actually know that person completely deeply inside out. You know that person's habits, you know that person's likes, dislikes, you know that person's different mood habits. And you also know that what is the person thinking about in the future? What are their aims? What do they want to do? And you are ready to help them out in any way or, or whatsoever you can do for them. So God says that for you to love me, God says for you to love me, do you know me? How do I look? Where do I stay? What do I do? What is my purpose? Under what rules and laws did I create this universe? What is the method of karma? What is the right way of doing right karma? Do you know this knowledge? Because if you call me God, Father, the Creator, or if you, if you call me the Supreme Father, some people call them, Him as just Creator, not as Father. Some people accept Him as Father. Some people accept Him as even a Mother. But not a physical, bodily Father or a Mother because He doesn't have a physical body. But in terms of emotions. But in terms of as somebody who is going to take care of you, a fatherly figure, a motherly figure, but not a physical figure, right? So God says, do you know me enough that you can receive my love? So then God says, God's love gives you so much happiness. If you know me, then you can receive that happiness through the power of meditation, by the power of connecting to him, that if you become lost in it, you will forget this world of sorrow. To have all your desires fulfilled for whatever you want in this life is a sign of God's love. So what are the desires? What desires can we have in this world? There are some temporary desires and there are some permanent desires. Peace of mind, happiness, bliss, love is a permanent desire. Wealth, property, money are temporary desires. Which one are we after? Because if we get the former, then thinking that we're going to get the later one is not so easy but if we are receiving the latter one then over a period of time our desires for the former one worldly wealth subsides and we're content with what we have but yet we need to earn something so then God says not only does the father give us happiness and peace but he makes each of us into a treasure store of it so God is an ocean what do you receive from an ocean? You receive pearls, you receive water, you receive everything which you desire from the ocean. It's an ocean. But what do you receive from a river? Very few things as compared to the ocean. What do you receive from a pond? Even further less. So God says that just as the Father is the ocean of happiness, not just a river or a pond. Who is a river and a pond? We human beings are a river or a pond. If you go to a saint and you say, please, Show me the path of peace. If you go to any monk and you ask him for peace, then they'll be able to give you what they can give you as a pond or a river. But the Supreme Father, the Supreme Creator, is an ocean as compared to us human beings. So in the same way, he makes us children into the masters of the treasure. Which treasure? Now just like a physical father has got property and wealth for his children, what is the Supreme Creator, if you call Him as a Supreme Father, what kind of property can He give you? What kind of wealth can He give you? Not the physical wealth, which you receive from your parents, 
but the wealth of peace love happiness but divine knowledge the most important out of it once you receive the divine knowledge then peace love happiness follows after it he makes us children into the masters of the treasure store of happiness this is why there is no need to ask for anything who will ask for anything when you have a thought or an emotion or a relationship with supreme god as a devotee and not as his child see a father will have a different relationship with his children as compared to somebody whom you are a fan of you can be a fan of some actor but you're not as child right so i can be a fan of god devotee is what devotee or worshiper is a fan of god just like in today's world you're a fan of an actor you praise him you want to meet him you have desires for meeting him so that's like a fan but supreme god father being a father you like his qualities his virtues are mine i don't need anything from him because i deserve everything which he has because what he has he is an ocean of love ocean of peace ocean of purity ocean of knowledge of the creation of the world so do you have that knowledge well that is what we receive at brahma kumaris the knowledge of the creation of the world in a scientific manner in a spiritual manner in every way then god says this is why there is no need to ask for anything but simply use the treasures you have received in the right way at the appropriate time we have received the treasures of how to keep our mind our intellect stable through the seven days of knowledge which we receive brahma kumaris and on a daily basis when we read this knowledge we get more and more powerful so that is what is the treasure god is talking about for that treasure to be yours you'll have to do the seven days brahma kumari spiritual raj yoga meditation course that to for free and learn what do you receive from him who is he where does he stay what does he look like what is his purpose to give us this knowledge and with this om shanti